Gaga Joy, Gaga Joy's cooking. Well, we're going to do something today that only a genius could do. It's a fruit salad. <laughs> this is so easy that anybody could do it, but it's we just want a fruit salad so bad today, and so I thought, well, I'll go ahead and make it early and uh, make it set a while, and we'll eat it. And it's very, of course, very easy, as you know. I always put my apples on the bottom so they can get some of the pineapple juice and everything and they don't turn. And then I put my oranges on top of the apples because that keeps your apples from turning. And of course, bananas. What would the world be without bananas? I don't know. It's one of those things I buy three and at least one of them will go bad. Just be in the way. <laughs> My grandson, I always keep it for him because every time he comes over, the first thing he does is go, he goes and gets him a banana. So it's worth, worth it. I don't know, a fruit salad sometimes just comes, just fills the bill, I think, because it's such good stuff in it. You can let my dog out. Oh, now, on the pineapple, I think we all have our ways of cutting up pineapple. I've done cut the ends and the top off. I saw uh, somebody cut it off one day, and if you cut just the eyes off, it makes a ring around your pineapple, almost like a little curly cue. I would love to see pineapples growing. I take that little piece of core out. And I sort of like it about that size, don't you? Well, let's see, let's take a little bit more of this off. Again, the pineapples will keep your bananas from going, getting dark. The pineapple juice does. Take the core of this one. A little bit of this, more of this off. What all do you add to your fruit salads? We were looking, we looked for kiwis, but I cannot find a kiwi anywhere. I don't know if it's they're out of season. My friend told me I should have gone to another store. She saw them, but it's one of those days. Kiwi was not my priority. That's about high fat, so. Now, let's put a few blueberries. Blueberries are so good for, it's one of those power uh, fruits. And I think they're wonderful, I love them. Now all my uh, fruits and vegetables have been prior washed, so. I'm not putting dirty things in my salad here. And I love red grapefruit. And this time of the year, they're nothing. And this year has been the worst year I've ever seen for grapefruits. I get my grapefruits in this big, I guess it's a half a gallon jar now, and they are just divine. I get, uh, I get up in the morning. Some people get up in the morning thinking about coffee which I do love too, but I get up in the morning thinking about my grapefruit. I'm a grapefruit lover. All the way. Look how pretty they look in there. Let's put some strawberries. I 
mad at when strawberry seeds are coming in, don't you? I don't like picking them. I want somebody to pick them for me. I, I saw strawberries one time that were real long. They were like, um, I guess they're called fingerling strawberries. Those were the sweetest, I believe the best strawberries I ever have ever eaten, and I never saw them at that one time. I think they were at Food City around here. They were wonderful. We, when we were growing up, my mother would always say, I'll tell you what, you all, you all go pick the strawberries and I'll make a angel food cake and we'll have angel food cake for lunch or supper. And I can remember my brothers and I, my brother and I and my sister, we would go pick a mama bucket of strawberries and come home and she'd have the cake or she'd also have extra strawberries. But we also had white strawberries. They were wild, of course, but most people I bet have never seen a white strawberry. They taste the same. You wouldn't know there was anything different about them. Well, down to the end of those. And the bowl's filling up quickly. Okay, let's put some more pineapple in. Let's finish our pineapple off. There's a wonderful book out called The Pineapple Garden. If you ever see it, it may be off, out of print now, but it's one of the sweetest books you'll ever read. It's about the first missionaries that went to uh, Hawaii and uh, how, the, how the pineapple became such a part of their lives. Okay. We got that. So I think we're down to the grapes and more blueberries. I sort of like the grapes split, but we can put them both ways, some split, some not. I have grape vines, but mine are not seedless. And we took them down this year and we're putting up hopefully seedless ones. Well, there the floor has one. <laughs> that looks like a salad. Now there's several things you can do in this. Uh, a lot of people like to open up a, a vanilla pudding and it vanilla pudding and uh, the uh, instant vanilla pudding and make them a sauce and pour over it. That's a, that's a good one. Uh, you can take brown sugar, cinnamon and um, water and lemon juice and orange juice and cook it down for about five minutes and put that over it. But my my way of loving fruit is just like this. I love to eat it straight. I'm gonna, you know, stir it up a little bit and we'll be eating it this evening. 
Well, here's one of my complicated meals. I hope you like it. And uh, we'll see you soon. Subscribe, ring that bell. Take care of yourself. Remember the joy.